Hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of KDOS Gaming. And today I'm going to, um, just fucking jump off this cliff. Just, uh, oh, wait. I'm, I'm kidding, I'll be jumping off no cliffs of any kind. Um, I'm actually just gonna go in here to get one final piece of heart, which will complete our, a heart container for us. So, then we'll have another heart going into the next dungeon, the third dungeon. Um, the last episode we actually got to the third dungeon already, but... Um, that was kind of just like filler because, you know, it was kind of hot yesterday. It was, it's always a hot day when I record, but like yesterday was especially hot. So I decided to call the episode short just to conserve my fucking mentality because, um, it was pretty bad guys. I'm going to be honest. It was a bad episode too. So I'm really sorry about that. But enough with the apologizing because that's all I seem to be doing these days. Just apologizing. Oh, excuse me. You hit me right in the head. That's all I seem to do these days. Apologize for every little thing that I do. And I need to stop because that, because then I come off as a weak person. And I'm not a weak person. I'm very strong and independent. I'm an adult. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Um, so yeah. After we finish this, um... Oh, we're going to turn into Mr. Bunny Rabbit again. Because that's always fun. Um, I love the little sound effects it makes when it goes into the Dark World too. It's pretty cool. I need to get the mirror. Where's the mirror? Yes, the magic mirror. No, don't get, don't go to the map. Jesus, Link. Um, after we finish the third temple, um, we'll be allowed to go and get the Master Sword from the Lost Woods, which is pretty much the more improved. Like it's just a stronger sword, really. Um, but it also allows you to do some other things, like um, like you'll go up to some uh, kind of places that are like, raise your master sword and unlock the fucking whatever. Oh, excuse me. And you need the master sword for stuff like that. So it acts like a key for some things as well, which would be handy to have. Um, but that's something I kind of wanted to bring up was the master sword because I know like back when this game was made, um, there wasn't really like an official timeline or everything. It was just like your link go and fucking save the world and shit um, But now they've since that game they've like brought in the official Zelda timeline Because um, on the remake of this game on the uh, GBA um, They actually changed the canon or something um, Like the intro you know how like I read that intro at the start of the game uh, with the like Aeons ago, there was a great sealing of the hidden realm or something like that. The sacred realm or some shit. Um, they actually changed that in the GBA version so it fits more with the official Zelda timeline. Ah, fuck, I died! That just... Oh, wait, no, no, I've got a fairy. Never mind. I'm fine. It's alright, guys. I've got a fairy. Everything's fine. Yeah, so they changed the GBA port uh, to... There's a few changes in the GBA port, actually. Um, there's like an extra temple or something like that, but that's getting besides the point. Uh, they changed the cannon, so I've said that four times now. Um, but like back when this game was made, there was no cannon, but I'm thinking like this game's cannon actually works more in relation to the Master Sword because in, um, I don't want to give away spoilers here, but I will anyway. So spoiler warning if you haven't finished Skyward Sword. Um, at the end of Skyward Sword, which I finished recently, um, oh fuck, I can't press the right buttons today. Uh, Link steals away the, um, the Master Sword in the temple in the, uh, what is it, the, um, the forest place, I forgot what it is, which is basically like the Lost Woods, because that wasn't Hyrule back then. So, that's pretty much the same place to get the Master Sword in this game, right? But... Link gets the Master Sword before that in the official timeline when he gets it in Ocarina of Time, right? But the Master Sword isn't in the Lost Woods in Ocarina of Time, it's in the Temple of Time, which is near Hyrule Castle, which is... like, the Lost Woods is nowhere near Hyrule Castle in Ocarina of Time. Did we just get the big key? Pretty sure we did. Um, I, I didn't see what we got there, I wasn't paying attention. Um, so what I'm thinking is like, oh, and before that you've got like the Picori Blade and all that stuff too, which was in the mini cap, Minish Cap, which is clearly not the Master Sword, it's a completely different sword, but it's kind of like the Master Sword, I guess. How do I get that? Can I control the boomerang? No. 
Oh shit, hang on. Alright. Alright, let's- alright, no more fucking around. So what I'm thinking is like, there's gotta be like, different master swords. Like, there's gotta be more than one. What did I do? What am I doing? No, hit that. Don't fuck me around, game. I'll kick you in the nutsack. I'm serious. I'll kick you right in the sack. There's gotta be different- there's gotta be several different master swords, I'm thinking, like, if you're including, like, the Picori Blade and all that stuff. Because the Master Sword in Ocarina of Time is clearly not the same Master Sword that you get in A Link to the Past, which is pretty much the game that comes after Ocarina of Time in the Ganon Wins timeline. What do I do? You can gaze into the magic mirror and return to the entrance at any time. I might do that, actually. That would be a good idea. Thank you, Shrahalahalalala. I love you. I seriously love you. Let's find a place quiet and make the sweet love. But I'm kind of ob obsessed with the uh, the canon of Zelda. I don't know why. It just it's just always intrigued me because the thing it, the thing about it is is that I didn't even think that there was a timeline back when I played these games as a kid. I was just like, oh yeah, new Zelda game. The story seems to be the same as every other Zelda game, which I was cool with because I loved Zelda, but. I never thought about them all being connected as like a sequel, and now that Nintendo have come out and said, no, they're all connected and they've made games that are trying to connect each game to one another in the timeline and that, all that kind of stuff, just kind of uh, fascinates me, I guess. So we should be approaching the boss if we've just unlocked that door with the big key, which is weird because that means it's a very short temple. I do remember the temples in... Um, a Link to the Past being relatively short. Like, the ones in um, A Link Between Worlds are really short, too. They're like, I could finish them in like a train trip or something. Which I which I don't mind. Like, I like short dungeons. I really like how that game's designed overall, actually. Like, A Link Between Worlds it is a short game if you play it in a short way. Like, if you know what I mean. Like, if you don't get... Go and get all the... Um, collectibles and stuff like that, like the hidden Maya Mayas or whatever is, which are like the uh, golden skull chillers of that game. Like if you don't go and collect all of those and you just like run through each temple one by one, you're going to finish the game in easily a day. Easily. Um, but the way I play it is like I'm a bit of a completionist so I have to do fucking everything and get every upgrade and every piece of heart and every, you know, possible gym jam. Um, if you do that, then the game takes a little bit longer, which is fine. Like, it depends how you play it. Like, that's the great thing about A Link Between Worlds, is it's like you can just play it however you want. Like, you can play each temple in whatever order you want, and you can um, choose whatever weapons you want to get whenever you want and stuff like that. It's really good. I like that game. It's probably my favorite Zelda game, actually. Or well, one of my favorite games of all time, really. Which is weird, because it's a new game, and you're not allowed to think new games are the best games of all times. You have to be a nostalgia fag and love the old games better. I'm not like that. <laughs> Except I will I will jump on the um, Call of Duty sucks band bandwagon though, because I honestly think... Well, to be honest, Call of Duty I don't think is a bad game, because I used to have my fair share of... Um, I, used to, I used to have my Call of Duty days back in high school as well. Like, I used to play heaps of Call of Duty back in high school. It was basically the only thing I played. Um, and I, well, it's not a bad game at all. It's a really good game, actually, but... It's just that I don't understand it when people go and buy every new game that's released every year, because they literally release the same game. Like, it's got a few new maps, um, a few new guns, like, diff some something slightly different, and then the storyline will be the same, but no one plays the storyline anyway, so... You know, what's the fucking point of buying a new Call of Duty game? I just don't get it. That's why I don't like... That's why I'm one of those guys that's like, Oh, Call of Duty sucks, because... It does. Like, it's just, like... Play one game, and you've, and you've played them all. If you know what I'm saying. Oh, so I've got to go back and get the fucking... Switch. Ugh. Hang on. I wonder if I can, um... I wonder if there's a way I can get that... Ch oh, no! What are you doing, Link? I'll kill you! How, how, oh wait, okay, so I gotta click that. Then go up here. 
Sorry about the beeping, guys. I'm really low at health again. Because I suck. Yeah, but A Link Between Worlds, great game. I highly recommend it. Especially if you're, uh, if you're new to the Zelda games. It's a really good game. Um, because it's easy. It's a really easy game, unless you play on, like, Hero Mode or something. It's one of those games that anyone can just pick up and feel like a really smart person. If you know what I mean. Like, the dungeons aren't hard, but when you finish a puzzle or something like that, it's just like, oh, okay, that's cool, that's clever. And you feel clever. Alright, we can get these little hardy hearts now. Before we go into the boss, though, I need to get that chest with the, um... I think the orbs in there. The, no, don't fall, Link. Jesus. What are you doing? You're on every single drug. I swear to God. We need to get across there, but I forget how to do it. Do you know how to do it, Shrahalahalala? Kados said his eye, Shrahalahalala. The Elder, an orb known as the Moon Pearl is in his tower. Yes, it's right behind you. Whoever holds the Moon Pearl is protected from that form will not change in the Dark World. You must find it and escape from the tower. Don't forget the Moon Pearl. Yes, I know. I don't know how to get there, though. Jeez, what are you not understanding, Shrahalahalala? I wonder if I can... Hmm. There's gotta be a way. I, I swear I've done it before. I know, like, I know. Maybe I... What if I, uh... Oh. I don't know, guys. I have no idea. I thought there might be a way I could fall through there or something. Hang on, hang on. I'll be back when I figure it out. Oh, shit, hang on. Fuck, I fell, but I think I figured it out. I think I figured out how to do it. So you gotta... You gotta leave that how it is there. Go up here. Right, are you listening? Are you, li are you getting all this? Are you writing this down? You gotta jump on this. Don't hit that freaking bouncy thing, because it will bounce you down the hole. Then you go down this hole, right? You're getting this, you're writing this down. And you land... Oh, no, no! Ah, oh, fuck, hang on. Alright, wait, wait, let me tr let me try this again. Let's, st let's start over, alright? So you click that. You're listening? You're writing this down? You're getting all this? Go up here. You're listening to me? This is very important. This is the most important part, right? So you get here. You click that. You're getting this? And then you go... Through this side, is it? Up here? Right? Yes? Yes! We got it! I'm a genius. I'm the best. So now we can go and fight the... Crazy old boss. Because... I don't fucking give a shit. I just do whatever the fuck I want. I just, if I don't like someone, I'm gonna tell it to their face. If I say, hey, look, you don't have the right to talk to me like that. I will stab you with my sword of masterness. Just grab one more. One more heart before I... Where are the hearts? There. Thank you. Alright, let's do it. I'm ready. Let's fight. So, as far as I'm aware... I think you can just beat this guy with the... With just the sword, I'm pretty sure. I'm sure there's like an easy way to do it, but... I'm stupid and don't know, so... Another thing I've always liked is like, the sound effects the bosses make when you hit them. It's hilarious. Especially their dying sound effect. Come- God damn it! Alright. Take it- Don't! Nope, 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 don't! Don't push me down the hole. I will fight you. I will actually fight you. I will actually point at you. I love his little googly eyes too. Hilarious. Alright, give me your insides. Let me devour your flesh. Alright, there's another heart. And there's our pendant. Too easy, guys. Way too fucking easy. And we got the pearl as well, which is fucking awesome. Yes, Link, yes, we get it. Put, put it away. Put it away, Link. You won the Pendant of Wisdom. With this, you have collected all three pendants. Now go to the Lost Woods and get the Master Sword. Alrighty. We did it, guys. So in the next episode, we're going to go get the crazy old Master Sword. And I'm going to go stab a child with it. So, um, I'll see you guys then. Love you. Bye.